Hello, hello. Welcome back to the Lifer Podcast. Here we love ourselves fully equipped and realness. So today I want to talk about dirty mind syndrome. <laughs> and before I delve into dirty mind syndrome, I really want you to understand something. It's it's very important. I'm going to say it a couple times in hopes that it really seeps in. <laughs> so, um your words matter and you have the power with your words to direct your life. So, I'm going to say that one more time. <laughs> your words matter and you have a power with your words to direct your life. So, when I talk about dirty mind syndrome, I'm talking about the negative narrative that we often fall victim to. And it's it's natural. I think a lot of us do it. I know I do it. <laughs> and it's it's unfortunate because when you talk negatively about yourself or to others, that really has control over your emotions and that can really sway how your day, how your week, how your month, how your life goes. So, I want to talk about the power of words and the control and influence that it can have over not only our lives but our friends and the hindrance that it can really give us, you know. It can either lead us to depression keep us in depression leads to loneliness isolation and and so much more so the words that you use impact everything and especially with trauma and the things that you go through that can either make it worse or depending on how you handle the situation it can make it better so i know 2021 was really traumatic for a lot of us and so some words that you may have said to yourself or said to someone else is i can't do this or i'm scared or this is hurting me or people don't have a job i don't have a job i don't have food i don't have the right resources i can't do this anymore or maybe if you are a parent and you have kids you my kids can't go to school or i can't teach my kids or they can't learn from home and the can't and I don't know and all of these negative ways that we talk to ourselves and set up our situation has definitely wounded our way of life. So I just wanted to give those as a example. I'm sure there are many more out there, but going forward, we have to think of things like networking, putting power to our words, building confidence in ourselves. You know, you have to change the way you think. If you change the way you think, everything else will get easier. And I know that's not easy, and I know there's a lot of people who are like, "Oh, don't come at me with the affirmations." <laughs> And trust me, I'm not an affirmation person myself. I suffer from dirty mind syndrome. Um, you know, I'm constantly beating myself up. But I think the remedy or one, there I'm sure there's many, but one is acknowledging it. Understanding that, okay, I do have this issue. Now, how can I work on it? So, think of it like this. Think of yourself in the position of a creator. You know, me as a as a content creator on YouTube, Instagram and and now podcasting. I love to create. I like to decorate, I like to dance, I like to cook, I like to give information and love. That's that's how I love people, you know. And and we'll get into love shortly because I think that is is very important in everything that we do. Hence, you know, love yourself, lifer. I <laughs> just wanted to throw that in there, you guys. Was that smooth or not? Anyway. <laughs> um <clears throat> when you create, 
a you are creating from a, a place of love but also you're looking at things from a neutral uh background you know from from a foundation that you can build upon so when you look at your mind stop and be present with your mind and look at it from a neutral perspective and say okay i'm thinking this and i'm feeling this right now why how can i create and change the narrative to a narrative that i find will bring me peace bring me happiness bring me joy how can i look at this situation and create it to how i want it to be right so and and we'll delve into uh some examples shortly as well so i want you to think of that besides creation i want you to think about the weather so let's say uh it's freezing cold outside right the first thing you say is like oh my god it's so cold and i'm gonna get sick i don't feel well it's too cold i can't go for a walk it's too cold i can't go outside it's too cold i can't do this i can't do that right so i want you to look at the weather in a different way and these are all just examples right so instead of giving yourself that negative narrative and then you wake up and you're like oh it's too cold to be i'm gonna get sick and then you get sick and then you wonder why you're sick right look at the weather and say it's cold but the sun is shining and it looks so beautiful you see how you're acknowledging that you're feeling a certain way about the situation about the weather but you're putting a little twist on it you're changing the narrative you're looking at it in a different way you're creating a different avenue for yourself to walk so i, I like the i like the weather analogy a lot because i constantly i'm not a friend of the cold i don't like the cold at all but i like to find beauty in everything that comes my way or i try to find the beauty in everything that i comes my way so life is what you make it right i think that that is pretty clear to most of us and some people like to make excuses for their life and why things aren't how they are but when you understand life is what you make it then you have control over your life and you can choose how you want it to be so um some other things that i wanted to discuss that would help you to perhaps change the dirty mind syndrome or soften the way that you feel and think towards yourself is observe it observe how you're feeling be present with why you're feeling it and criticism is okay right a little bit of criticism is okay because that can motivate you to get outside your comfort zone right that can give you a little bit of a reality check when maybe your your id and your ego want to go to a party but when you're being present and you're acknowledging how you're feeling and you breathe in you breathe out and you figure another way around those negative feelings you say okay i'm feeling this but what can i do when i feel this how how can i make this better in adversity and in problems and suffering and struggling your character is built on how you withstand and how how you maintain and how you move past the struggle the pain the depression the hurt the negative narratives so this is this is also personal development being able to create this new mindset I hope you guys are with me still. <laughs> um 
with meditation and I'm definitely new to meditation I'm still working on this myself I like the idea of when you breathe in you're breathing in everything you want when you breathe out you're releasing everything you're breathing out everything that you don't want breathe in what you want release out what you don't want so uh, another and the final one where we're going to get to love now <laughs> um with practicing you know clearing up or you know moving i don't want to say get rid of because i don't think it ever goes away but making it easier to transition uh, when you are present with what you're feeling and thinking this dirty mind syndrome how about that <laughs> so knowing your love language there's many love languages if you don't know um you can definitely google it and and find out but when you know your love language instead of just knowing it and knowing how you want to be treated treat yourself the way you want to be treated use your love language on you so if your love language is touch you know massage your hands massage your feet massage your legs you know like i suffer with knee pain a lot instead of saying i can't do this or this hurts and this makes me feel miserable i have a tens unit and i put it on my knee and i massage my knee and i'm like i'm strong i can get through this i can get past the pain things like that if your love language is receiving things you know once in a while just buy yourself something that you think is going to make you feel better love yourself i say this constantly not just on my youtube channel but on instagram and now here is be your best friend whatever you would do with your best friend whatever you would say to help your best friend say that to yourself because you have to be your best friend first right before you can be anybody for anyone else a wife a mother a sister a best friend a girlfriend you have to be the person that you want to be for yourself right so i hope this <laughs> makes sense so going back to practicing your love language your internal monologue should be practicing positivity and love affirmations um they don't have to be affirmations per se but just talk to yourself every now and then nobody will think you're crazy i promise <laughs> and say you know like hey how are you feeling today you know good morning today's gonna be a great day i am going to walk out into the world and i'm just gonna have the best day i'm gonna experience and learn something new today and i'm gonna feel great and when you do that your brain is saying to every other part in your body it's going down your your central nervous system and it's saying hey you know she's gonna have a great day so let's let's make those neurotransmitters fire let's like let's get those good feelings those nice vibes out there you know <laughs> and and then you start to feel good so there's a lot of other sayings that i feel you can put towards what i'm trying to explain so when they say practice what you preach uh what's another saying um lo que dice lo que hace um what else that's um what you say is what you do what you do is what you say um life is what you make it like all of these sayings right it all comes back to your internal monologue it all comes back to the narrative that you're constantly giving yourself your brain doesn't turn off even when you're sleeping your body you know lies dormant for a little bit but your brain is always always active and we want to exercise that brain and feed it positivity feed it light feed it love and when we do that slowly but surely it's not a snap of a finger it's not a light switch that you can turn on and off 
you'll start to see these changes in your life. You'll start to see these changes with how you feel, how you look at things. You start to build character. You, your personality comes through because you don't have this negativity just beating you down and making you hide every inch of yourself, you know? That's for all of my, my people who don't have confidence or look in the mirror and hate themselves it's you're telling yourself this but this is not how people perceive you this is how you're perceiving yourself so i i need you guys to get out of that you know so um i don't like to keep my podcast too long i always do you know 15 to 20 minutes um this was just you know a short conversation on 30 mind syndrome on how we talk to ourselves right so if you enjoyed it we can definitely do a part two um you can interact with me on instagram at healthy beauty betty or my youtube healthy beauty betty um i really hope that you got something from this podcast i hope that you get something from all of the episodes i believe we are on our fourth which is so crazy since the new year happened it's it's been a weekly thing every friday i have been you know giving you guys love <laughs> and um i just want you to understand that your words matter and your words determine how your life will go and i wish nothing but the best for all of you i wish for you guys to have fulfillment for you to have love happiness joy for you to know yourself and do what's best for you so until the next episode i wish you the best and have a wonderful wonderful rest of your day or week bye <laughs>